Hello students, welcome to Easy Elimu Learning Simplified. My name is Mr. Stanley Ombogo. So uh, dear students, this is another beautiful session that we are having. And uh, in this session, under listening and speaking, especially uh, pronunciation, I'd like us to differentiate these two areas, that is uh, diphthongs and uh, uh, triphthongs. So talking about uh, diphthongs and triphthongs, we're also going to involve uh, vowel sounds because uh, that is what uh, they share in common. So allow me, first of all, start by, uh, you know, uh, talking about what diphthongs are. So dear students, a diphthong is a combination of two vowel sounds. So when you talk about uh, vowel sounds, remember there are only five. We have A, A, E, O, and U. So those are the vowel sounds that we are talking about. So uh, if uh, a word is, uh, you know, uh, said to be a diphthong, then it must have the combination uh, uh, that is or a combination of uh, the two vowel sounds. That is uh, the two vowel sounds that I've just uh, mentioned. So diphthongs have the same length as uh, the long uh, vowels. Then something that is also interesting about uh, diphthongs is that uh, when uh, pronouncing, when pronouncing, uh, uh, you know, uh, a diphthong, the first part or the first sound in a diphthong is much longer than the than the second part or uh, the second sound. So I want us to uh, look at the word I, for example. So in the word I, there are two vowel sounds. That is A and E. So we have the vowel sound A and the uh, and the vowel sound E. So when pronouncing the word, the first sound A is said a bit longer before the glide, uh, you know, uh, 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 moves, or th that is before we glide or before we move to uh, the vowel sound E. So uh, before the glide to E becomes noticeable, uh, the A sound is said longer. So we only notice uh, the sound E uh, after saying uh, the sound A for quite some time. So how about we try pronouncing it so that uh, we, uh, we be accurate on what the uh, statement is saying. So if we say I, 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 you realize that the A is kind of longer. The A is kind of longer as compared to the, to the E, that is, uh, that we hear only at the end. So uh, that means that the first part uh, in a diphthong is much longer than the, than the second part. Not by looking at the letters by, uh, I mean not just by looking at the letters, but by looking at the sounds that the letters uh, produce. Remember when we are dealing with sounds, we do not look at the letters that we have in those words. We only uh, deal with what we hear. That is, we are only interested in the sound created by the letters, but we do not look at the letters uh, themselves. So some of the diphthongs uh, that we have uh, include the sound O. Uh -huh. We also have the sound ow. Uh -huh. There is also the sound a. So if you look at the uh, the first example, the sound o, for example, uh, this is common in in words like uh, roll, bone, phone, stone, close, note, notice, lonely, home, hope, open, ocean, bonus, focus. Vogue. So uh, looking at uh, the words, uh, there they are very many, the list is endless. But looking at, uh, you know, some of the uh, words that we have uh, uh, given there, you realize that uh, there is that, uh, you know, there is that O sound and it is uh, made up of two vowel sound as indicated there. So apart from that, we also have uh, diphthongs that have uh, two vowel sound that is ow. So this is said in words such as how, cow, now, allow, owl, brown, down, town, clown, drown, crown, about, doubt, foul, noun, etc., etc. Then we also have uh, vowel sounds that have, I mean, uh, sorry, diphthongs that have the two vowel sounds A and E, that is A. So the words containing these uh, diphthongs are 
we have wait, late, bait, date, tail, bail, gate, waste, wade, baby, bacon, paper, April, danger, crazy, mail, paint, take, uh, etc. So again, the list is the list is endless. These are just um, examples. So, uh, dear students, how about we move to the next uh, the next area that is uh, triftongs. That is the next sound triftongs. So remember, before we move to uh, triftongs, remember what we uh, just said about uh, diphthongs. So we say that diphthongs are uh, a combination of two vowel uh, sounds. So triftongs is now a combination of three vowel sounds. So it is a glide from one vowel sound to another and then to the third uh, vowel sound. So consider the word hour. Let us study the word hour. So in the word hour, you realize that the word begins with the, uh, that is with a vowel sound a, uh, then it proceeds to u and finally ends in a. Uh. So it is pronounced as our, our. So we have a, u, and a. So that is an example of a triftong. So in triftongs, we expect to get, uh, you know, a combination of three vowel sounds in a word. So some examples of uh, triftongs include, so in the, uh, uh, if we take the diphthong, I mean, if we take the two vowel sounds, sorry, if we take the two vowel sound ow, then we add a, we will form our, just like in the example that we have, uh, uh, you know, just looked at in the word hour. So some of the words we have in this area, we have power and hour. So remember, in uh, the hour that we have here, the H is silent. So we ignore the H sound. Then uh, we also have uh, triftongs that are made up of uh, two vowel sounds, A plus A, making uh, a triftong A. -ya. So uh, this is uh, experience or it occurs in words such as player, layer, prayer, etc. Then we also have triftongs that are made up by, uh, uh, I mean, that are made uh, uh, by, you know, uh, taking the two vowel sounds, A and E, then adding it to another vowel sound, A, leading to A. So, uh, the, some of the words that uh, we have under, uh, some of the triftongs uh, that we have under this category are uh, fire and liar and so on. So other examples of uh, triftongs, dear students, include uh, flower, we have riot, we have tower, uh, there is a thrower, we have buyer. Apart from uh, those, we also have uh, tired, we have towel. There is the word coward. We have quiet. Uh, we also have bower. We also have ours. So that brings us to the end of the session, dear students. And uh, please try and uh, try and uh, you know uh, uh, give more examples as possible under diphthongs and uh, triphthongs. Remember that the words we have provided aren't enough. They are not the only diphthongs and triphthongs. That we have. So make an effort to give other examples of diphthongs and other examples of triftongs as well. So I believe that uh, that was uh, super helpful and thank you for uh, staying with me till the end. Remember to always keep it easy limo. Until next time, bye.